Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Graveyard Keeper. So last episode we kind of biffed it when it came to um, fixing our graveyard. We accidentally took way too much from, well I don't know if accidentally is the word. We did it on purpose but I forgot that we had not had crematoriums unlocked yet so we had to end up building this terrible body, uh, putting this terrible body in our graveyard at the church. So as we can see right down here under the bishop, it says reach level five at the graveyard, which is going to be our goal for today. So we really need to get cracking along. Um, we're going to get uh, some more pieces of stone maybe. Uh, what I really want is to build some better um, fences that'll help but in order to build the stone fences I think you need to get a I think we already have the first stone cutter I think we need stone cutter to to get the better one so let's check out our technology so yeah this oh we just need to build it but in order to do this we need to get science points and we don't get science points until we have our fences and everything. So <laughs> it's kind of like we're stuck in this 180. So let's just go ahead and start busting out these gray fences. Let's do three. Um, we do need some wooden planks. Now wooden planks we can make pretty easily. One filch makes three wooden planks. So that's not bad at all. And let's go over here and check it out. Ooh, let's just craft. There we go, that's the button. We are out of energy, but never fret. We're going to just add this to our special pile here. We'll hit that. And that gave us a little bit more energy to finish these. There we go. And we got another body. Well, hopefully this one we won't have to uh, take so much stuff out of it. We are going to sleep through the night and kind of leave it out in the cold rain overnight. Um, just so that way we can be full for that guy. For that body. For autopsying it. Dismembering it. Alright, so we are back. Let's finish doing this and then we'll go deal with that body down there. Can't forget about it, otherwise it just goes rotten and nasty. Um, actually, let's just... We'll just take it since we need more positive than negative bodies right now. We won't take anything from this corpse and just kind of um, bury it so that way I think it only has one red spot which is pretty good. Normally you want to like gather as much resources as you can um, but we don't want to do that. <laughs> we want to get our gravesite up so that way we can progress on the storyline. So bury this boy up. We'll go ahead and put this here. And then let's do a gray fence. And this is going to be positively affecting our grave, which is great. Um, so we need only a few more. So let's go ahead and keep adding fences to these. For whom, whichever body can benefit from it. Perfect. All right, so now that, that is all put in there, um, we do want to exhume these, but let's go ahead and remove this. This body needs, we, can, we need a stone one for that and that'll do plus one. So we need one stone graveyard will help. Oh man, I really don't want to do good for those <laughs> those ones that are just terrible. You know, it's not really worth it. But let's go ahead and do at least one more gravestone. Um, kind of recycle some of the pieces that we have, and hopefully, 
hopefully we get another body today that would be better so that way we don't have to worry about fixing up those terrible ones uh where do i there we go get some more firewood out of this Perfect. And then we'll do one of these and use up our stockpile a little bit to get a little bit more stone. Um, luckily, the like main stone stockpile is already unlocked for us, which is great. And, you know, the positive is at least we're kind of, like, building up our stockpile of resources and getting those construction points, which is really awesome. So, let's take a sleep for the night. We're back at it the next day. I guess it's still technically the same day. The next, um, the moon day up here, that's for the, um, astrologer, but we have not unlocked anything for him yet kind of stock up on some of these nature points while the mushrooms are still here. There we go. All right, and let's head down here and pick up some stones. Put a stone on, which one were we putting it on again? Oh yeah, this one. Which means we have like a whole day to get, how many more points? One more point? Oh, so easy. Do we have anything? Okay, which one do we want to fix up? This one? Yeah, let's go get a grave fence. Just a wooden fence. Should be easy enough. Put it on that one and then we'll have five, which means we'll be all set when the uh, bishop arrives on uh, Sunday. Whatever. Purple day. <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. So let's get a one of these. And for these, you need a wooden plank. And for that, we need filch. We have enough for filch. Need one of those. And so now that everything's queued up, we'll go ahead and deposit our extra materials. Like all of our construction materials, um, I am gonna go through and delete the flowers. Cause they don't really do much. They are more for like alchemy. And they just grow so frequently, it's not really worth it. So let's chop down a tree. Hopefully get some planks. Is this gonna give me sticks or, you know, just construction points? Okay. Um, let's try this one. Nope. Let's try this one. This one for sure will get us a log, which is great. Okay, I guess we're digging that up instead of picking up the log. That's fine. that we don't need and once that is all set up and good looking um, we can just kind of gather some extra materials until the bishop gets here and actually I might do that off camera we'll see but before that let's go ahead and plop in a grave fence and there we go quality five that's all that we needed fantastic and yeah, I will see you guys in a little bit. All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, I did a little bit of resource gathering while I was away. And as you can see, we are now back on Sunday. So all we have left to do really is wait for the bishop to get back, which is going to unlock the church for us, which means we can finally progress in this storyline. Um, I didn't get any bodies while we were away, which is fine with me because that just needs more work. But as you can see here, I have about five logs and two giant stones that I can break up into smaller stones. Um, and then we also just have our meat and skin. We'll go ahead and drop these off in our home kitchen area. <laughs> 
And actually, while we're here, we might as well do some baked apples, just so that way that's working while we are away. And hopefully we can grab this bishop pretty early in the day um, and see what other stuff he has to say for us. We might actually meet him there, but we'll see. Yeah, we definitely beat him here, but that's fine. As you can see, our quality of graveyard is still at a five, which is fine even with these three negatives. Um, we do want to exhume the bodies, but the bodies take... Bodies take in uh, paperwork for that, and for us to get the paperwork, we have to unlock the church, and for us to start earning money for like the... Um, what are they? The dead body receipts? <laughs> um, for those, we also need to unlock the church because we have to start generating income for the townsfolk. So we have to have a church so people want to come to town so that way they can spend their money at the inn, etc, etc. So, we don't have anything here. We have four corpse. What are these? Burial certificates. That's what they're called. That's right. So let's wait for this guy to come. There we go. I fixed the graveyard. Perfect. Our first sermon. So just stand at the pulpit and speak the words. I forget which word I, what, what kind of voice I used for the bishop. <laughs> what words? The words. Haha, ha, actually you can just say whatever you want. Is he, was he English? I don't, I don't remember. You know, this place isn't so bad. Put up some extra decorations, some nice candles, music, incense, get an oiled up for a nice massage. Long story short, all this stuff will help you to get more faith. And faith is power. Perfect. So let's go ahead and start praying. We'll just do this basic sermon. Ah, uh, hmm. Ah, uh, may the force be with you. Not too bad, but my sermons are much better. Um, some books with some wonderful words in the church library. You'll probably find some weird stuff in there too. One of the keepers was engaged in scientific research. Haha, ha. you can throw all that stuff out. I'll spread word about your next ceremony. Maybe next week someone will show up. By the way, as prior, it's now your duty to perform a weekly ceremony on Sunday. I can sell you some useful accessories for it. Also, I have a small task for you. Just talk to me when you're ready. Ugh, I have to get out of here. The air is so dry. My skin can't take it for long. So, this is exciting. This is great. This is exactly what we want. Um, let's head down and talk to the bishop and see what other kind of tasks he has set up for us. As you can see here, we are happy to congratulate you on the reopening of the church and the graveyard. You have become a subject of royal law. All on-ground structures remain property of the holy church. However, all services, land, and buildings that sit no deeper than one royal leap for real royal spit, as dictated by the ancient contract, belong to the royal family and the town. Through this mailbox, you may now access a vast array of services provided by the Royal Treasury Department. Your taxes may also be paid by mail. Have a nice day, and remember, King Joe the Seventh loves you. So yeah, we need one silver and 75 bronze to get the ex exhumation permission. But that was a huge milestone for us. I thought we were supposed to be meeting the bishop out here. Huh. Well... You know, our church quality is at a five, our graveyard outside is at a five, and we unlocked this wonderful part of the church. So, I will be leaving this part here. Thank you so much for joining me, and until I see you guys again, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful, fantastic rest of your day. Bye.